Truck Driver Sean. That's right. Yeah! So today, not reviewing anything. I'm here just to kind of share some good YouTube channels to check out if you're into gear and music in general. Just because they're cool channels, they're guys that usually have some upbeat stuff and uh, an interesting take on kind of like a stale process. Any of those things kind of fall into it. Um, right off the bat, definitely, without a doubt, pause this video and go find Luis Torres. All right? Like his channel. Why? Because he's doing awesome things and he is super, super, super energetic. Always positive, upbeat, and he's just a joy to watch. That guy should be supported and should have a really good following. He's doing pretty good. He's about 2,500 subscribers, so that's that's pretty phenomenal. He's doing good. Um, another cat that's almost always in a good mood, uh, has a really good outlook on stuff, super nice guy. I've talked to him a couple times, and uh, uh, like with anything else, I'm not everybody's thing, so I get it, but... Uh, Definitely check out his channel. He does awesome stuff. Uh, he's a little bit of a Slipknot geek, which we all kind of are, right? Slipknot's a pretty damn good band. And that's Stay Metal Ray. Uh, super nice guy, good player, um, great attitude. Go check out his channel. Um, another cat, he barely ever posts, but when he does, I love what he does. And I'm still waiting for like the videos for some of the gear I know he has, like Eventually, he needs to make, you know, content show up. And that's Anthony Best. <laughs> He's such a good dude. Go check out his channel. Uh, he has a very interesting take. Um, I don't know. I know he's not always happy with what he does, but I think that's kind of what makes what he does good. It's because he's striving to do something awesome, but it's not good enough for him, which makes great content. Uh, a couple really famous cats, you know, super duper famous people, Matthias Akuda, um, guitar player, singer, brainchild behind, uh, Freak Kitchen, does some freak guitar stuff, awesome player, the guy's ridiculous, his sense of humor is definitely Swedish, yeah, he, he's, he's hilarious, and the stuff he does on guitar is just Makes you just want to take a guitar and put it in the corner and not play again. Super good. And a guitar hero of mine uh, is super accessible nowadays. Uh, Matt Heffy from Heffy from Trivium. He has a YouTube channel. He also does Twitch and stuff like that too. I don't do the whole Twitch thing, but I watch his YouTube stuff. And uh, you can find that by looking up Matt Hugh. I say Matt Hughes is two T's. Matt Hugh, Kichi Chaos, Heffy, Heffy, H E F Y, H E A F Y. That his his videos are awesome, and it's awesome knowing that that's a guy who's toured the world and you've seen on these huge stages, sitting in his room talking about riffs he's wrote, talking about other bands. And just showing cool stuff on the guitars. He's a very accomplished player. He's very good. Um, and you, every time I watch his videos, I always walk away with something. Always. Always walk away with something. Uh, another one that should be more popular than what he is. <laughs> I love watching him. And I love it when him and his wife are in a video together. Because their uh, humor with one another is ridiculous. And that is Dean Lamb. Uh, he's from the Canadian tech death band called Archspire. Check out both. I mean, follow, Dean Lamb posts videos pretty frequently. And uh, check out him. Check out his band. Uh, he's just such a good dude. I'm hoping one of these days when he's touring the States, uh, I can actually meet that guy. He just seems like the nicest guy on the planet. It's But all Canadians are pretty nice, right? I mean... <laughs> We could all learn something from the Canadians. We definitely need to learn how to make stronger beer. That way if we go to Canada, we don't get fucked up on half the beer we normally drink. That's the point. Uh, 
lately on Fridays, my boy Ike over at Flipside Music's been doing um, live stream videos and keeping them up. Uh, him and his henchman. I always forget his name. I want to say Darren, but I know that's not right. I feel so bad. It's, I'm horrible with names. But uh, they go live and it it's interesting. They kind of cover a lot of stuff and it's super entertaining. There's always something that goes wrong. <laughs> and it's so funny because they just keep rolling with it and figure it out. It's great. I love it. it you can't really ask for anything better. And then uh, kind of in the same thing, I've never stopped watching these guys. Uh, the Lollies RNA Music. Uh, if you need positivity in your life, they have got all the positivity you need. They are just some of the best people on the planet. We all could learn something from the lollies, for sure. You know, they're just good people, talented musicians. Uh, they're just brilliant. There's not a bad word. If anybody ever says a bad word about the lollies, I get, I'd get nervous. I'd be like, something's wrong with this guy. Because I can't imagine a universe where someone has something bad to say about them. No. <laughs> and to follow that tree, because I kind of, I met Ryan and Angela, and then that turned into me getting to know Ike at Flipside, which, knowing them two, got me in touch with Robert Baker. Robert Baker probably, if he had to have a poster child for nicest guy on the planet, like, you know, those ones like that show someone staring off in the sun going. That'd be a picture of Robert Baker. You know, that super cool, relaxed, nice attitude you get in the videos. What's awesome about that? That's Robert. He's not trying to pretend to be something he's not. That's Robert. He's a good guy. He gives online lessons. He does awesome stuff. He does video series and stuff. You know, the type that wants to take physical lessons. Uh, he also tosses a ton of stuff up on his channel for free. And, again, nicest guy on the planet. It, if you're not following Robert Baker, for the love of Christ, go follow him. All right. And uh, my boy, I've been watching, like, since, like, before he was anybody. And this dude, all these years, he's still the one of the coolest cats in the room. If you ever have a question about gear or something... This guy might not get back to you in five minutes, but he will get back to you. And he'll answer your question to the best of his ability. And if he doesn't have the answer, he will send you to somebody who does. I don't know where he finds the time to answer people's... I know my stuff when I've asked him questions and stuff. He has to be like, oh, not this guy again. But he always takes the time. His videos are really cool. Uh, he keeps them nice and short for your attention span pleasure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that's my boy Ryan Bruce over at Riffs Beards and Gear. Uh, a lot of people call him Fluff. I, I, the dude just really, really gets it, and he's the nicest guy ever. You know, if you're ever privileged enough to go to Nam, you see him walking around. You definitely have to say hi to that guy because he's generally excited to say hi to everybody. And it, you think being around as long as he has, the attention he's had that he wouldn't be that excited about talking to anybody, but he's super enthusiastic and a super nice guy. And his videos are just, when you walk away from it, you, you're just like, oh, that was kind of cool. You know, seeing a guy that positive and he's showing the gear and he's very matter of fact about it, you know, and it's just, it's just great. You know, so definitely check that guy out. Uh, another guy who was kind of new to the scene, been around for a little while, has kind of kept himself under the radar. Loves his KSR series. And that would be Terrence over at Pariah vs. Gear. <laughs> I, I, I like what he's been doing. I mean... I'd love to see something besides a series. But I get it. He loves that pedal and it's a great pedal. If I had one, I'd be chucking it in videos all the time too. Just because... Especially with Terrence. He's a left-handed guy that plays amazing, amazing guitars. Left-handed guys never have awesome guitars. Terrence has awesome guitars as a left-handed player. You know, it's like, oh, that's awesome to see. that He's got, like, 
an awesome guitar and he's a lefty. He doesn't just have that run of that mill shit guitar they try to sell left handed guitar players. And uh, he's always got it's a pretty good attitude. Um, he shows stuff pretty quick, likes the genty stuff. He's a gentleman for sure. And uh, yeah, go check him out. Give that guy a little bit of love. Encourage him to do something besides something with the CR series. KSR series. <laughs> That's just a joke I have with him. Yeah, but truth be told, um, when you walk away from his videos, at least you know something about what he's doing. He's very good at showing that. And if you're a lefty, you don't really have a lot of guys out there that is playing progressive music or doing things for progressive music. So definitely, you know, show the lefties a little bit of love, you know. And uh, definitely go subscribe to Terrence's channel, all right? Uh, another guy who, if you cannot find positivity and just walk away feeling like you've just been hugged after listening to Chugs, you clearly are not on the Jamie Slays trip. That's right. Jamie Oakfeld. Go follow that guy. He's awesome. And he's, ah, oh, he's so nice. He's like the nicest guy on the planet. <laughs> and you're done watching his video and you're like, I kind of like that guy. What did he make that video about? Because to me, his channel's more about him. He's just such a likable dude. And he's an amazing guitar player. Amazing guitar player. You'd never know that he's totally his own private music is like so brutal and angry and violent as fuck. Because he's so nice. <laughs> it's crazy. And uh, yeah, he's awesome, dude. Support that guy. And another guy who I adore and I was so upset. I like tried to find a way to get in contact with this guy. Um, I love what he does. I love how he does. I love his sense of humor. And I really just kind of wanted to pick his brain a little bit. And yeah, maybe force a friendship or whatever. But he's a recluse as fuck motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Arnold over Arnold Plays Guitar. That guy, I really love what he's doing. He's so good. So good. And his videos are neat, and he's sarcastic and silly, and really shows what's good about the gear. If there's something wonky with the gear, he has no problem talking about it, which is nice. Not all gear is fucking perfect. And he, just matter of fact, talks about it, and it's great. And uh, last but not least, Metalhead Productions, man. It's just, I really love that channel. I wish the guy put out more content. <laughs> He just does it in such a good way, and uh, he's kind of like that middle-of-the-road metal player. Like, he does the thrashy stuff, he does the sort of genty stuff, the death metal stuff. Super awesome player. He produces all of his tracks, but yet still gives you a taste of what it sounds like when it's not a produced track. Which, to me, is important. As we talked about at the beginning of the video, I really don't like, you know, getting the gear and not being able to recreate the sound. <laughs> Dirty tree. I love that thing. 
By the way, two of the people on the list are the reasons why I'm even playing this thing. One, I saw a review with Luis Torres a long time ago. It's like, ah, that sounds awesome. And then, for some reason, I just didn't pay attention to it. So, turn around. A while later, Metalhead Productions. Steven over there put one up. I was like, Phew. I gotta reach out and see if I get one of these. And I reached out to Pepper's Pedals and I didn't realize he was halfway across the world. <laughs> Three quarters of the way across the world. But I'm calling it halfway because we keep going around. It. Obviously, it's not halfway. And uh, he wasn't able to send me one for review. And Luis Torres sent me one uh, to use for review. And now I've got to buy one. And at $129, I didn't even realize they were that inexpensive. That's a fucking awesome pedal for $129. Every guitar player that's into metal should own one. You don't believe me? Go watch all the reviews. You got my review. You got Lewis's review. You got Metalhead Productions review. You got, I believe, Arnold Plays Guitar did a review. Go check those out. All right? And, uh, of course, got to watch Gear Gods. Trey might be a little douchey. We'll give you that. He might ooze the douche. But I think he's trying to be funny sometimes when he doesn't need to be because he's just naturally funny. I think when he doesn't try to be funny is when he's the funniest. The dude's a ridiculously good guitar player. I forgot the name of his damn band, but you need to check that out. That's some crazy stuff. I mean, you know, definitely go check out gear gods they just it, there's always content there i know everybody gets a little tired of seeing trey's face but at the end of the day trey knows what he's doing he's got to figure it out and uh you can tell that guy who's just douche and he giggles so he's not taking all this shit too damn seriously you know what i'm saying all right y'all be good check out those channels again just to run down through the list without talking about the people just the channels Matthias Ayakunda, Elkund, Elkund, whatever the fuck that's pronounced as. Put up Freak Guitar, Freak Kitchen, you, you'll find him. Luis Torres. Go like my boy's channel, I'm telling you right now. Stay Metal Ray, go give that guy some love. Uh, Matt Heafy from Trivium, he has a channel, you gotta look at it under Matt Hugh. I say Matt Hugh because it's two T's. And I like being silly. Kichi Chaos, which is K I I C H I C H O A O S. Kichi Chaos, Hefe. Matt Hugh, Kichi Chaos, Hefe. That's really him. And he posts a shit ton of stuff. Go give that guy some love. Gear Gods, do you know how to find that? Most likely you're already following that. Dean Lamb, that dude's awesome. Art Spire is his name of his band. Follow him personally. Check out Art Spire. If you like tech death, just like ridiculous guitar playing, that should be your wheelhouse. Uh, check out Anthony Best. Flipside Music. Robert Baker. Wrist Beards and Gear. Pariah vs. Gear. Jamie Slays. Arnold Plays Guitar. RNA Music. And Metalhead Productions. Give all those guys some love. Why? They're worth your time. And if you're going to watch YouTube channels, Watch some that are good, in my opinion. Again, it's just my opinion. You want to know what I'm watching, what I enjoy? There you go. And I really do. I'm not saying that. None of these guys have a stake in the game for me saying that. I made this unsolicited and on my own. Why? Because I truly do watch those channels. They're my most watched channels on YouTube. Sometimes I don't watch and I just listen. Because I'll be driving down the road and I use it for the audio. But yeah, go check them out. If you want, tell them that fat truck driving piece of shit sent them. Keep music evil, bring metal to the children. I'll catch you in the next video. Later.